Jeez, Nico's back in the house, back in the house, back in my house. Oh yeah, I'm back in my house, back in my house, with my washing going. Okay, today we're back with Pop OS, yeah, Pop OS 1910. Now you know, I've been having a few problems with it, so I thought I'd reroute it, and we'll go the easy way, okay? So it's still Pop OS 1910, but I have not updated it just yet, although I do have a fix for that, which I will tell you about a little bit later, maybe, if I remember to do that. Okay, I wasn't expecting to like this, okay, but I really do. Uh, Gnome, I've never liked, to be honest with you, or Gnome, however you want to pronounce it. Being an older person, I can say whatever I like, I like what I bloody say, okay? Yeah. But yeah, Gnome, I've never been a, fun, uh, a real fan of it until this, today, to be honest with you. And I've tried lots of Gnomes, or Gnomes. Okay, so I've got to remember my, short, my keyboard shortcuts now. Please bear with me okay so hit the super key get a little bit of menu you can see up here is simple screen recorder recording what i'm doing here with you today i've put over here chromium now i'm going to click on chrome for the simple reason and i'm going to a bit of drinkage while it boots up remember this test machine only runs on mechanical drives so things will be a little bit slower unless you've got an ssd but my ssd is in my other machine so i don't really want to put me in this one Obviously, if you want to don donate me another 10 SSDs, no problem, but that's not going to happen. So if I ch chuck into YouTube, okay, this is just the first thing that amazed me about this, okay? So I'm just going to choose me, okay? We don't break any laws, so we're putting sneaky links. Yeah, then we go to me, and there's one of my videos there. And I'm going to click on it, and we get all this adverts that we don't like. We have to wait to go through that, but you can't hear the audio, so it's no big deal. Now, the video quality on GNOME or Pop! OS is very, very good. That's the first one I looked at, okay? And the first thing I thought, wow, that just jumps out at me at the screen. It really just does jump out. That's the first thing I really like about it, okay? The video, okay? Number two, what I really like about it, okay? It's so snappy, look. If I go to my file system, boof, we're there. We go back. Well, let me go back, because we're only one folder. Activity, oh, I must use my keyboard shortcuts again, sorry. It's been such a long time. Uh, if I go to here, which all I have a stuff. So if I want to boot up GIMP, for simple reason, because I want to do photos, or do some stuff. Remember, mechanical drives, it's really, really snappy, considering if this was an SSD, it'd be like a second. Yeah, it wouldn't be a problem at all. I'll go back to here again, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, the other day, Ghosty was talking about using... Um, one of his, I think he was doing Zorin 15 Lite. And he was saying, that, well, why is people going about um, using memory? And he had some good points to say. So if you want to go and check one of his videos out, I might put it in the description, actually. Years ago, if you had one gigabyte of memory, you was really lucky, okay? So if you've got a Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 3, and there's one gig of RAM, okay? So you have to be really careful with the amount of RAM you're using, unless you've got a normal swap file. Now, as far as I'm aware, this uses a swap folder, though. Well, that's why it's only four gig, okay? But on this machine, I've got 32 gig of RAM. So I haven't really got to worry about how much RAM I've got, to be honest. If you're playing a, a AAA game, some games will want 16 gigabytes to run, okay? 16 gig. Others will only want about four. All depends. If you're using Euro Truck, yeah, you, yeah, I think it only wants about four, to be honest with you, maximum. Uh, even on high resolutions. But once you go into AAA titles, the really new ones, it's gonna want 16 if they run in Linux, which most do at the moment. So as you can see here, I'm using 1.6, and I'm recording it in 60 frames a second. It's no big deal. And yes, the, the reason for RAM is to use as much as you can, basically, because it's there for instant access. Remember, the from where you come from, from your hard drive, is slow access. It takes ages, as you can just see from when we first booted up a program there. So if I get rid of that, actually, no, I won't get rid of it, I'll just leave it there. We'll go back here and we'll open up a Office application, and it's going to be LibreOffice Calc, okay? Right, can you see? It took a little while. One, two, three. For five seconds, okay? That's no big deal, really. About the same as a Raspberry Pi, to be honest with you. But if I close that, 
Then go to this again and open it. Go to calc again. So open a hoist. Calc. It's instantaneous. Can you see what I mean? This is where we have our cache files and our RAM. So, yep. If anybody that said Ghosty was wrong, you're wrong, okay? That's what it's supposed to be, okay? Use as much RAM as you bloody can. And I can say that word now because this is not kid friendly, if you know what I mean. Does that make it kin friendly? Then I'll take that word out. So we'll close H top up. I'm using my super key this time. Oh, blimey, what am I doing? Whoa. I've installed quite a few applications here, as you can see. Now, when I downloaded Caden Live, it also downloaded KDE Connect. That's one. And this is another thing I'm not I'm a bit wary about, okay? Okay. Now I'll show you. So I'll go to the pop shop. Which is their application center, okay? And I go to installed. Now, bearing in mind, it wants me to update, okay? It wants me to update. But if I go to say LibreOffice, so I go to Ken Live. It doesn't tell me where it's come from. I don't know. Uh, Pop OS has got a lot to do with elementary as well. There's a lot of bits and bobs that they share, obviously. And I'm not a fan of elementary. Unless you're a really new user, and I think it's fantastic. But for a lot of us who've been using Linux for a long time, it's not really what we want to do. So I'll go back to home. Remember I showed you Peak a while ago? Yeah? How to do GIFs for your GIFy stuff and what have you. I click on Peak, and it says it's 256.4 kilobytes. If I scroll down, it doesn't tell me where they're coming from. I don't know if it's from a repo, a snap, a flat pack, or an app image. I don't know, but I'm going to install it and let's see. That's supposedly 256.4 kilobytes. Let's have a go. So I install it. It want my password, so I'll type that in for you. There you go. Uh, it starts running and starts downloading. Why that does its stuff? I mean, my white light on my desktop is going. pinky. So it's installing now. That was more than that amount. Okay. My internet connection is really fast for a rural con rural area here, and I'm getting a hundred, no problem. So we'll get rid of that, and we'll go back to activities. My super key, and we go here, and peak is there, and it should be yes, it works fine. So you can record as a GIF, ABG, web, or MP4. So that works fine. I mean, on the whole, the system works fantastically, and I can't fault it. But it's these little niggles like, where does it come from? What is it? Can I update it? Is System76 going to keep going with Linux? I don't know. Yeah, I know what I'm Oh, one thing I've got to show you this. Now, it's not that I want to show you the system. It's just that I like the icon. So if I put uh, NeoFetch, I don't want to show you anything. 76, that. 76, 76, 76. I like that bit. They've actually put the effort in to do that. To be honest, really honest with you, and I've been running this one since last night, and when I got home, what time I get home? I T about five, so about half past five. So yeah, all running hunky dory. So what I'm going to do when I finish this video, I'm going to try and update it. Now that may be a problem. I don't want it to be a seventh uh, that I break stuff again. I used to break stuff all the time back in the day, but nowadays Linux doesn't break, but this just is. But bearing in mind 19.10 is own, it's not supported very long, it's only for nine months. So for 2004, I'm expecting some of these super snappy things that are happening here in Gnome to follow over the 2004, and maybe some other people might like it, you know what I mean? I'm going to go to my folders, just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm recording that video now, okay? We're recording that now, so yeah, everything's hunky-dory. Full hardware install. Yeah, but apart from that, I really actually do like it. Oh, I hate myself now. <sighs> Sneaking the next out. As you lose, bye bye.